Hey guys, Christina here from This Mom's Tale. So today I'm going to do a thrift haul. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've done one of these that I don't even really have that much to show you, but I thought I would just show you kind of what I've kind of got over the last month, um, just because it's kind of been a dry spell for me. Seems like every time I go to Goodwill, Salvation Army, thrift store, whatever, it's just kind of like I pick a thing up here and there. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I'm having a hard time right now. So it'll just be a little bit of random stuff. But I just thought that I would show you guys what I got. And at the end of my video, I have a little surprise for you guys. Um, I had just reached 500 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> I am very excited and I am so excited and thankful that you guys have decided to subscribe to my channel. It just means so much to me that you guys um, like me enough to subscribe. I never really thought that I would, I don't know, get numbers. I don't know. It's just been something that I do for fun. I like sharing my hauls with you guys. I love, you know, letting my family out there and so you guys can see us and it's just something that I enjoy so again thank you guys so much so I will show you guys what I have for in store for you guys it's just a little bit of a giveaway this time um I do plan to do some in the future but I thought in the spirit of thrifting <laughs> because I am th showing a thrift video today that it will be a thrifted giveaway hmm I'll let you guys think about that so I'll jump right into my haul. So I was at Goodwill last week, or no, sorry, a few weeks ago, and I came across this pretty J. Crew shirt. Um, and I just absolutely love this shirt. I never really am like a designer person, or you know, but it's just really comfortable. I never thought this shirt could be so comfortable, and it fits like a glove. I mean, so comfortable. I normally try to stay away from stripes. Um, because I'm a little bit heavier, but it doesn't really look that bad on me. I think it looks pretty. And it was, I believe, four or five dollars. So again, for a J. Crew shirt, not half bad. And I try to wear this everywhere I go. <laughs> no joke. Um, and then my other clothing piece I picked up a few weeks ago, probably last month, um, when I was at Goodwill. It is this really pretty, oh, this is the back of it, but it's almost like an ombre effect, gray sweater, and it's just a really nice sweater to wear like over your, like a nice pair of jeans or you know, whatever type of shirt, but I just thought it's really cute. It is White Stag, which I believe is Walmart. Is it Walmart? I don't know. I don't really, I don't know. So anyways, yeah, and this was actually on sale. They have like orange tags on clothing, which makes everything like two seventy nine. So for two seventy nine for a really nice, pretty um, sweater. Heck yeah, that's all me. So that is my clothing, and then I will get into a few things that I picked up for my youngest son, Gabriel. Um, now before I show you this. Okay, this boy loses everything, you guys. At school, he loses his lunch boxes, his sweaters, his gloves. I mean, you name it, he loses it. So I'm just done buying him nice stuff. I'm done. So <laughs> when I see boys' stuff, like outerwear at thrift stores, I nab it because it is just something that is really hard to find in my area. I don't know what it is. I cannot find nice clothing for boys. Like, boys wear their stuff out, and it's just so hard to find good quality secondhand stuff for them. So I found this sweater. It's this pretty like light blue sweater and it says Vans on it. And then it's got this nice hood. And then the hood, I guess when it's flipped down, it says Vans on it too. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. So this was, I think two bucks, two ninety nine. $1.99. I don't remember. He's been wearing it now for a couple weeks. So I don't remember how much I paid, but it was only like $2 around that. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to grab it because the boy freaking loses everything. I'm so tired of it. <sighs> so you guys know a good area where to go shop for <laughs> boys clothing. Let me know. Um, okay. And then I went to my, uh, what is it? Salvation Army. The other, it was actually last week I went and I found a couple pairs of pants for him. Um, I found these pair of Sean White, like, slack type pants. And these are actually a size 10. And the guy, 
um, had it for three seventy, so I paid three seventy because the kids' clothing wasn't on sale, of course. I got a size ten, a size up, just because he's good on pants right now. He's a size eight right now. Um, these are good for his next size. So when he outgrows his eights, these are good. And then I found this um, skinny jean pant from Old Navy, and it's again a size ten. I mean, boys just need jeans. What can you say? Sorry about the horrible lighting. It's like really overcast over here. We don't get hardly any rain, but we get the clouds. Whatever. And then, so I was at my Goodwill today. I'm just kind of like rambling on. I went to Goodwill today and I picked up a book. I've been really excited to get read again. I don't know. I've been seeing, you know, some people haul books and I've been really excited. So I found this book, Stone Garden by Molly... Monahan, I think I said that right. Um, haven't read this yet, so I was kind of reading over it, and it sounds something like I'd be interested in. If you guys have read this, uh, let me know what you guys thought. No spoilers though, because I want to know. I want to read it on my own. It was uh, two ninety nine. Red tags were half off, so I got it for a dollar fifty, and I just thought, what the heck for a dollar fifty? If I, even if I don't like it, it's not. It's worth it to me. So that was that, and then this last piece. Gosh, I know. Really quick. I found at Salvation Army as well. It is this really pretty fabric um, storage bin. I really like it. Um, I don't even know where it came from. But it's fabric and it's got this, like wire around it. So it's kind of flimsy, but it's not, if that makes sense. And I just store my kids, like all their infinity stuff and all their characters. Because if you guys have these things, you guys know how annoying they are. And it just fits right, nice right in my console table and stowed away so I don't have to look at it every day. So that was it for my thrift haul. Oh my god, I went through that really fast. Okay, so I think I'll get into my giveaway now. I found these, and to be honest, you guys, I've actually had these for quite a while. I thrifted these a while back. I mean, I'm talking sometime last year. And I think I put them in a drawer. As a matter of fact, I know I put it in a drawer and I just forgot about them. <laughs> it happens. So anyways, what I found was these pretty, really pretty um, tapered candle holders. And they've got this really pretty like gold pearl effect. And it looks like someone used that paint, like that crackle paint which was really in for a while on furniture, but I think they're still gorgeous. And I think these are actually handmade because they're wood. Somebody obviously painted them themselves. Um, and they're just really cute. I don't remember how much I paid a couple bucks each, maybe. Um, and I've always loved them. I think they're really romantic looking and would be perfect for Valentine's day. Hello. And when I pull these out, I was going to use them for my Valentine's day decor. And I just thought, you know what? I've got 500 subscribers. I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm sure they would love these. So if you guys are interested in the nice candle holders, again, this is a thrifted giveaway. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, go ahead and number one, be subscribed to my channel. And number two, comment below. And all you have to do is write giveaway if that's something that you guys are interested in. And I will hopefully let you guys know by next week who the winner is. So again, here's the candle holders. Really pretty. <laughs> I just love these. Oh, and I will say that for the time being, it's only going to be in the US. I know I have some subscribers that are overseas. So I'm sorry. But for right now, it's going to have to just stay in the US. Um, I'm glad I said that because <laughs> I don't want to like, lead anybody on. But again, so if you guys are interested, let me know. And that was it. I am right now in the midst of uh, uploading and, uh, you know, editing our little Disney trip. I'm so, I hate editing you guys. It's just not the fun part that I like doing um, with YouTube videos. So it's going to take me a while. I'll hopefully get that up by next week. But we had fun. It was a fun trip. There was nobody there. I don't know if it was because of the measles or what, but there was just, it was an awesome time. There was, no, <laughs> it was like lines were five, ten minutes. It was just, it was great. So I will leave you guys with that. Again, if you guys are interested in the giveaway, go ahead and comment below and let me know. I will see you guys next time. Bye.